Mr Farage, two and a half minutes. Thank you. As Mr Muscovici said at the start of this, the leak of all these papers and lists of people with offshore holdings has come about because of the Society of Investigative Journalists. But what's not been said this morning, and I think is relevant, is that the funding of these investigations came from one George Soros. Now, I say this at a time I'm going to come back to so what, and it may have some personal interest for you as well. I say this at a time when the use of money and the influence it may have had on the Brexit result or the Trump election has reached a level of virtual hysteria. Just last week, the Electoral Commission in the UK launched an investigation to find out whether the Leave campaign took offshore money or Russian money. This came about as a result of questions asked in the House of Commons by one Ben Bradshaw, somebody linked to an organisation called Open Society. I just wonder, when we're talking about offshore money, when we're talking about political subversion, when we're talking about collusion, I wonder whether we're looking in the wrong place. And I say that because George Soros recently gave Open Society his organisation, which of course campaigns for free movement of peoples and supports supranational structures like the European Union. He recently gave it $18 billion. And his influence here and in Brussels is truly extraordinary. Open Society boasts that they had 42 meetings last year with the European Commission. They've even published a book of reliable friends in the European Parliament. And there are 226 names on that list including yours, sir. I thought, I thought you'd find this interesting. We even had last week Mr Verhofstadt lobbying on behalf of Mr Soros at the Conference of Presidents in a battle that is going on with Viktor Orban, the Prime Minister of Hungary. If we're going to have a debate and we're, and we're going to talk about full political and financial transparency, well, let's do it. So I should be writing today to all 226 of you asking some pretty fair questions. Have you ever received funds, directly or indirectly, from Open Society? How many of their events have you attended? Could you please give us a list of the meetings of all the representatives, including George Soros yourself? And I think this Parliament should now set up a special committee to look into all of this. And I say that because I fear we could be looking at the biggest level of international political collusion in history. Um, Mr Farage, there's a question from Madam Regner. Will you accept? Yes. Please put the question. 30 seconds. Thank you, Shun. Thank you. You are diverting from the subject. We are discussing the subject of the uh, Paradise Papers here. Uh, are you in favour of the fact that in, Brit in the British Virgin Islands and other tax havens there are tax structures that remain permissible? Yes or no? If you're, if you're going to completely ban people from putting money, uh, which in many cases could be utterly legitimate investments, be it in the British Virgin Islands or the Bahamas or anywhere else, if you're going to do that, then please be consistent. Make sure that you ban the sale of duty-free cigarettes, make sure that you stop anyone using their personal allowances to avoid tax when it comes to investments. Oh, and by the way, while you're at it, what about the 25,000 people that work for the European Commission and the European Parliament who pay a maximum tax rate Thank of 16%? You. Thank you, Mr Time Farage. To put your we own now house move in order. to our next speaker on the list.